Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode in my current player series of my Euro Truck Simulator 2 Speed Challenge. So if you're new to my channel, consider hitting that subscribe button, hit the bell notification for any further publications. Please give me a thumbs up. If you leave a comment, I'll be sure to get back on it by either leaving a like, I love art, or I will reply to your comment in one way or another. I'll get back to you. So this series is about Doug the Bug and his company Buggy Transport, where the speed is limited by the distance that he travels. So carrying on from the end of the last episode where we dropped off at Wilnet Transport in Zaragoza, we've made our way for our current job to Dan's Le Jardin on the outskirts of Zaragoza where we are going to be transporting 33,000 pounds of PERS. These are going to be going to Lisette Logistics in La Rochelle in France, a total distance of 452 miles which means that we will be travelling at 40 miles per hour. For this job we're going to get paid 19,353 euros or 16,934 pounds. So it's currently 5.35 a.m. on a clear Monday morning. By my calculations, 452 miles at 40 mile an hour should take around 11 and a half hours driving. And as you can see on my minimap, the driver's bed is virtually blue. So that means he will be due for a rest. But so that will put another 11 hours onto the driving time. So that's 22 and a half hours. Uh, I know on this route that there are quite a few toll roads, so that puts even more time on. So I'm looking that it should take around 24 hours in total to get to La Rochelle. I'm just hoping that as we're approaching this roundabout here, that no buses want the same lane as what I've got as per the last episode when we had an idiot bus driver who decided to come across into my lane and smack into the side of him. What about the route I asked you here? What about the route? The most important part of any journey is the route and the planning. We're currently on the N11 in Zaragoza, going into the centre. From there we'll pick up the Autopista 68. AP68 or the Euro Route E804. I don't know why they've got two different Spain. I suppose it's got something down to do with the um, European unions. I don't know. So we're going to be turning right at this roundabout. We're going to be heading out of the city and onto the main Autopista route. Oh, what are you doing, you maniac? I've just had to slam on in the middle of this roundabout which has caused a car to run into the side of my trailer while he drives off as though nothing's happened. We need to get out of this city fast. You drive like bleeding knot rights in this city. That's the second occasion that something's happened and it's not been my fault. If I didn't have my wits about me that would have caused a lot of damage to my truck. Right. Let's get back to the route. We've gone off track. We've had not rights. Let's get out of this for godforsaken city. So what we'll be doing is we'll be picking up the A68, which is the main route into Bilbao. We'll be travelling approximately 90 kilometres, about 55, 56 miles in a northwest direction, where we will go through the town of Tundala and we'll pick up the AP15 towards Pamplona. We'll be passing over the Aragon River, which is the main river that flows through the um, province of Zaragoza. We'll carry on the AP15 and on the A15 towards San Sebastian, which is on the north coast. And we'll be getting on to the A1 and onto the AP8 to Iron, which will be going over the border into France on the A63 towards Bayonne. 
We'll be going over the Ardo River, continuing towards Bordeaux. At Bordeaux, we'll pick up the A630 over the Garonne River, onto the N230 bypass, and then onto the A10 over the Dardoin River, passing through Saint Andre de Cubsos onto the A onto the A10 E5, passing Saints on then going on to the A837 E602 towards La Rochelle, and then we'll be picking up the N137 into the city centre. And then from there, we'll be making our way to Wisset Logistics, where we will drop off this trailer for repairs. So as I normally do, after I've given you the route description and the plan, we'll bang on some tunes, play some music, and I'll join you again when we're coming up to our destination. Hopefully, our drivers will make us some money and we'll not have any more incidents. Pedro! Pedro! Not working! I know nothing, I know nothing! I have to get maintenance! Not working, what am I supposed to do? I'm stuck here! I'll go back, go back! Can't go back! 
this is going to put a spanner to our plans, isn't it? So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to ring for our truck to get us to wherever. Oh, and I more expense that I don't need. So because of the cock up at the toll booth, that has just cost me 750 quid to get towed to Pamplona. Not my fault. Spanish government aren't going to refund me, are they? Lucky thing is, at least I'm at the garage, so my bed's on red. I can get some sleep. So just check in the text messages on my phone. Uh, one of my drivers came up trumps. Alvin C has earned me £5,967. There's one just come through. Driver Simona F has earned me £12,949, which is brilliant. But I've also had my loan payment of £5,065 go out. I'm just debating whether to get this loan paid off in full and start struggling with no money again. But the best thing is now that we can go straight through all the way to La Rochelle, no stopping, only for the toll booths, happy days. All we'll do is we'll pop the music back on and I'll speak to you when we're due to park up.
glass to mine And as we drink, we would lock eyes So we could disregard the thought of ever having to part For summer is for falling in love Sunset right before the day is dead. But maybe the heat of today could keep even winter away. So I'll remember your life, cause nothing ever changes the fact that summer is for falling in love. Da -dun -da -dun -day. Summer is for falling. Oh 
down. Don't want to come down. Okay, okay, here we are. I'm gonna set logistics. Gotta pack it around the back, so uh, I'll just do the breakdown of all the finances. Whilst I'm here, uh, first of all, the incomings. So Alvin earned me 5,967, as we know from before. Timona, 12,949. Philip. I mean 1,791. This job was 16,934. Georgia earned me 5,571. Fleming was 2,256. All my drivers came in, all paid up on the same day. Great stuff. Altogether, incoming 43,468 pounds. Brilliant for a day's work. Outgoings. 5,065 for my loan, 741 to be towed to the services at Pamplona after the barrier broke, 350 for an accident that was just as we came into France, and £64 in tolls. Altogether total 6,220, take that away from the 43,000 has left me with a total of £37,248. Can't fault that, can't beat it. So just remember, if you like this, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, leave me a thumbs up, a big like, helps my YouTube algorithms. Until next time, I'll bid you goodbye, stay safe, happy trucking.